to another lip balm review. This is the last of the three in the Soft Lips Trio for the holidays. This one is Cherry Cordial, which will hopefully not be a letdown like the last few Cherry Cordial things have been. Um, I'm hoping it'll be good, since I love Cherry Cordials a lot. I kept sitting on the plastic. Yeah, I am that. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. So, format-wise, it's one of the skinny sticks. It's very small. Um, the packaging is just plain white plastic with red writing. It's the same shade that they used for the candy apple one in the Halloween pack. Um, so at a quick glance, unfortunately, I'm probably going to keep mixing them up, but that's alright. Especially since they both have C names, so it's really going to be a quick glance thingy. Um, we have a cute little graphic of a reindeer up here. Might be Rudolph, might not. I I'm going to say with the red motif, it probably is. Um, but yeah, so there's that. They are not natural, they are synthetic, they are limited edition, um, I don't know if you can find them in stores anymore at this point, but I know you can still find them on the Soft Lips website, um, it is part of a set of three, amount of product, this is always an issue to me with the skinny sticks because there's so little in them, it's 0 .07 ounces, it's like a dot, that is literally, if you're new to these, from right here, that's the top of the turn wheel, to right here. That is all the product you get in the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of take issue with that. That's always a strike against them in my book and why, as a skinny stick by nature, they will never get a perfect score for me as much as I hate that. So, um, shelf life is not listed, I don't believe, but although there is a lot number on the bottom. Unless there's something here. No. There is not. Didn't think so. So anyway, price point on them was not too bad. Um, before they started the stupid thing where you have to buy like four of them uh, at a time on the website, which I really disagree with, I believe they were about three dollars. So that's about like a dollar per stick. That's not bad at all, really. Um, sturdiness wise, this is still an issue to me with how we wibbly wobbly that is. I always think they're gonna break. Um, but other than that, the cap's good though. But that turn wheel is just horrendous. And it's also huge! Um, the special features, we've got SPF 20 and medications. We've got 2% dimethicone, 7.5% octinoxate, 3% octisalate, and 3% oxybenzone. Now, moment of truth! What does it smell like? Oh, I hope good. Please be good. Oh, thank God it's good. Okay. It's a multi-layered scent. Like, at the tip of it, it just smelled like cherry. But on the side of it, I get the chocolate. So yes, we get both halves, but thank God it does smell good. Alright, let's see how it is. Once we put it on, let's try not get it in my hair. I hope it's tingly. That would be very nice. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you really smell the chocolate once it's on. That's not- and it's like legit chocolate. It's not even like fake chocolate smell. Um, the cherry half of it, you know, I think that's, it's a little bit artificial, but it's closer to real, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's like kind of in the middle between the two, but I like it though. It kind of nailed it. All right. And I am starting to feel some tinglies, which is no doubt from the menthol in it. So I'm always a fan of that when they're tingly. Um, thickness wise. Thin to medium, but unfortunately it is a texture where if you have actively chapped lips, you're still gonna feel the chaps through it. That always is like a strike to me because I like it to seal it down so I'll stop feeling them stick up and biting them and making them bleed. That is one of my anxiety tells basically is that I do that and then I'll just tear at them till they bleed and then it'll scab up and then I'll bite that till it bleeds and it's a vicious cycle and it will go on literally non-stop until I use something that seals it down long enough to heal. So, 
yeah, that's the thing. That's been a thing since I was a tiny, tiny little kid. So, anyway, I've talked about that before. Um, let's see, is there a flavor? No. No, there is not. Oh, well. Uh, it was worth a shot. The weirder thing with the cherry part of it, there's almost, not quite, but almost something reminiscent of watermelon, and I don't know why. There shouldn't be watermelon, but I like watermelon. But uh, it, it's definitely cherry and chocolate, but I feel like there's almost like a hint of like candy watermelon in there too. It's an interesting thing. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, mum, 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 mum. Actual consistency itself is actually really creamy, very smooth and slick, no tackiness whatsoever. That's always a big thing to me. Um, it's just really nice. I do like the formula here. I just wish it actually held chaps down. <laughs> so, um, but moisturization wise, these work like a dream for me. I love them. Like, Soft Lips is one of my favorite brands, and that's why I was so sad when they stopped making the cubes, because there's more in a cube than there is in the skinny sticks, and they've done away with those, and I don't know why. Um, but in general, their products are really, really, really good, so it does make up for the fact that there's not as much in them as I'd like there to be, but what there is, is really nice. Um, shine factor, it's got some shine, so for me that's a good thing, for some of you guys, maybe not, but I like it. My hair is a wreck. Um, longevity-wise, they're about average. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to fix whatever is going on back here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the drink test now. Hmm. I think I'm going to half a point on that one. It kind of oil slicked out, but it's also still kind of there. So, um, but I am going to give the wow factor for actually legit smelling like a cherry cordial. So, um... Let me think, what will I rate this? Um, well, for the amount in it, I'm gonna dock a point because it's not very much. Um, and the wiggly turn wheel, always a problem to me. Um, half a point on the drink test. Um, and the fact that I can still feel the chaps through it. That's a thing. So I think that leaves us with 6.5 is that correct i think it was like three and a half points off so yeah i think that's a 6.5 out of 10 which sounds worse than it is i still think it smells amazing and feels really nice on but i mean just throwing it out there that it's not perfect but i would still recommend it highly so Anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Did any of you guys find this pack? What did you guys think of this one? Which one was your favorite out of the pack? Anything else you feel like leaving me, leave it all down below. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Etsy, you name it, they're all down below. Go follow them. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.